right, guys, so Finny and I are out. It's uh, Tuesday night. I checked the uh, camera yesterday. <laughs> Clown. Checked the camera yesterday, and that big 10 point that I have some velvet pictures of has been showing up on camera. So that's pretty exciting. But uh, Finn started his homeschooling this week. So we have to be back in the house by 11.30. Direct orders from mommy. Turn your binoculars around the right way, YouTube. <laughs> so, this is one of our favorite things to do is come out here and... Look out for deal. I can hold the camera, right? Yeah, daddy. Glass these fields. Oh. For deer. He's usually quieter than this, so when we have the camera rolling, he likes to be around. There's probably seven or eight days out right now. And within the next 15, 20 minutes, a few bucks should start coming out. Just got back from Utah, had a blast with Matt and Mark. Got some great footage. Shot an elk. I'm sure you guys all saw that. Unbelievable experience. Uh, really a dream of mine. So uh, if you guys haven't went out west yet, I highly recommend it. We, we did a do-it-ourself type of hunt, all public land, and tags were over the counter. Um, so, I've been to South Dakota, killed a mule deer on public land there, and now Utah public land, I killed an elk. So I don't know what's next, but, oh man, it's fun to go out west. So now we're just gearing up for whitetail season here in Pennsylvania, and hopefully get a nice mature deer down. Hey, what's going on guys? Just. Uh got back from Utah here. It's Tuesday, so I had a day to relax with family. Got up early, got a workout in, and now it's time to build some animals. So I'm going to get everything set up for hunting season. I actually have four of them that I've made that I've been shooting. This year, so Kevin would be happy with. So, using bat wing feathers from Gateway, little arrow wrap on there, and pink and yellow. So, it should be easy to find if I uh, shoot something in this, which happens the majority of the time. Uh, the boning jig here, so it's set up with three clutch right now. It just takes um, swapping these little components out. Be good to go. Takes a minute and 39 seconds to switch from a three fletch jig to a four fletch jig. So all I have to do is clamp it. Little measurements there on the side so you can always make sure that, um, that your feathers in their correct position. So that's the spot I've been using on the ones that I've tested like. So I'm just gonna run with that. literally that easy. 
crazy. So that right there is a liner, it looks like it's pretty. Alright, so it is Thursday, my day off. Got Finny with me, my daughter Maeve. And we just drove her quad up to the Scaswell Road. And there's a camera in here that I haven't checked for probably, oh, three weeks. So we're gonna sneak down and check the camera. Teach Finn a little bit about nature and science. We just learned about what kind of tree was that, buddy? Crab apple tree. Crab apple tree, yeah. So, Thursdays are my day off for homeschooling. And the wife said it's my duty to teach Finn science, biology, all that, since it's kind of my background. Um, you know, in the health, health industry, biology is a major, major component of that. So I've had a lot of biology and whatnot so I feel that I since I'm a doctor of chiropractic I'm adequately uh, trained to teach teach my son about health and wellness and science and biology and a lot of other things so he's five he would be in kindergarten normally but we're doing the homeschooling thing so it's exciting for us and we get to spend more time with our kids and our kids get to be influenced by us, not their peers, for the most part. Finn is in hockey. Hockey's a big part of Finn's life and he gets to spend a ton of time with all of his friends um, in those situations. So, I'm gonna walk down here and check this camera. So we got in here, we're not too far from the quad, huh Finn? The camera's just Hung up on this major trail and creek crossing below me here. Maybe's having a blast. Aren't you, honey? You having fun? <laughs> All right. So we checked the Exodus. We have two bucks on camera. One decent eight point and a little six point. This yeah. eight, point eight point came through here the other day. Uh, he's only a two year old, but. Still nice to see bucks on your camera on just a heavy trail. So it'll be a good buck for Finny in a couple years, huh, bud? What do you think about all this? You think it's cool? Yeah, it is pretty cool. We're gonna reset this camera and leave it here for a few more weeks. I'm expecting for this camera to to pick up an activity here in the next couple weeks because this is a heavy doe corridor and uh, we had lots of does on camera so we're gonna pack out of here and go check another one sound good bud mm -hmm. all right <laughs> so we hiked up to the other spot Right there is one of my stands. I had a nice buck underneath me, a two-year-old last year, out of that stand. So actually, I just left it. I hung a camera up here probably a month ago and haven't checked it, so. Brought the kids, we're gonna sneak in there and check it too.